So I've spent a lot of time, um, whether it's you know really working with Tio in the weight room, um, kind of continuing to attack the attack the lifts throughout our throughout our fall season, off season, um, really working on some mechanical things and picking up and um, really getting into my backside a little bit more uh, mechanically, working with Coach Bloom to do so, um, and then really working on just continuing to fine tune um, kind of how the ball comes out of my hand and, and establishing you know a full repertoire of pitches um, and really really making sure that I can throw any pitch in any count. And I think that that's been uh, something that's really important. It's something the coach has stressed. Uh, it's something that you know a lot of the the young guys are buying into as well. Um, and we've we've seen it from the fall to the spring already, um, as well as last year to this year. Just the overall maturation of a lot of guys on our pitching staff. Um, that's led to a lot of a lot of younger guys um, getting some really big opportunities and stepping up and really making the most of them. So that kind of goes back to something we've worked on a lot in practice when we're throwing our flat grounds, when we're throwing our bullpen work. Um, we're always working like we have runners got, runners on. So it's it's trying to be comfortable and understanding that you know the most important pitches you make are ones that are made with runners on, whether it's second and third, whether it's first and second, um, and really being able to just trust your stuff, trust the defense you have behind you, trust the pitch calls that are being put in place, and and really knowing and, and having that confidence in your teammates that they're going to be in the right place at the right time. Like we used an inside move um, to pick the guy off the of second base to get the first out of the game, um, and it was trusting that you know we knew that Caleb was going to be breaking the bag at the right time, and knew that the timing would work. As soon as my leg got down. I was able to pop around and, and hit him and hit him in the glove. And that's just something we work on and, and just there's this routine that we go through every day in practice. Picking off the first, picking off the second, picking off the third, and really just making sure that you know every rep is made game like so that when you get into a game, it's just like practice. Caleb is Caleb has been a huge catalyst at the top of our order. Um, he goes out, you know, you know you're gonna get a really good at bat to lead off the game. He's gonna come back and, and you know have an idea of what the pitcher's throwing. He does a good job of relaying it to guys. Um, you know, then we have you know someone like Evan Brink and Ostrander kind of sitting in those two, three, four holes, like establishing that you know upperclassman kind of um, spot in the middle of the order. You got Thomas in there as well, and then we go back to some of the younger guys. We're just seeing really good at bats, really good defensive play. Caleb's had a couple great plays in the hole. Um, you know, against Illinois Wesleyan, they had a great play in shallow, in shallow left center. Um, we've had Jackson, who's had some really timely hits um, and really, really good games in right field. Um, Johnny's had a couple of big hits, even if, you know, we've had a couple balls that have been really crushed, a couple in Florida that got caught up in the wind a little bit. Um, but then you also have someone like, like Sean Robb, who's played a really, really solid left field. Um, he looked like he hadn't missed a beat coming off of, uh, coming off of last year, kind of where he finished the year really strong. Um, and then defensive play, you know, you have Colin that gets in at third base as, as a defensive replacement late in games as, as things get shuffled around there a little bit and he comes in and, you know, is really strong at third. So it's been, we've had a really good, really good defensive play, really good offensive play. And then we've also had pitchers step up. Um, Mitchell's thrown some, some really good innings. He didn't throw it all last year. Um, we've had Matt Lopes come in to a couple games and have, have really strong outings. Um, and it's been it's just been really really exciting to see. I think that um, I think going and traveling, uh, getting to see different cities and getting to see um, kind of you know getting to just experience what it's like to be a part of the UAA. We're really excited for. Uh, you know we're looking forward to the Cleveland trip. We're looking forward to the to the Boston trip, uh, and then getting to host a couple of good teams in in Emory uh, and NYU. You know we want to go out there, take it to them, and you know, just kind of keep the same mentality that, that we've had every game, just attacking every pitch, understanding big moments, really really getting up for them and making sure that you know, we stay behind one another no matter ups, downs, whatever it is, you know, just go attack. And we've been doing that and just continuing to do so.